I want to show you how to make a very simple report using SQL Server Reporting Services Report Builder. This is an easy tool to learn how to use and I think that you'll like it. So let's take a look at it. This is my SQL Server Reporting Services site. In here I have a number of folders with existing reports but what I want to do is create a new report. So let me open up Report Builder. You can access it from this toolbar up here. When it opens, you'll notice that I have a number of data objects over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to scroll down here and select the purchasing one. Within this object, there are a number of entities. You can see those listed here. I'm going to select the purchase line item. And below this are all the fields within that item. So let's make a simple report. All I need to do is drag the items from this list here over into the design area. Let's just do that right now. Let me also add the quantity and the extended cost. Let's run that report. So this is obviously a very basic report, but it's easy to do. If you want to go back into the design area, let's do that. Let's just click design report. We can go back here. Perhaps we'll add a vendor ID. Let's put that in here. If we want to format any of these fields, we can right click, look at the formatting options right here. Let's take one more look at that report. You know, that looks good enough to me, so let's publish that up to our site and take a look at it there. I'm going to save it up to my site. And let's put it in the TWO folder here. And put a new report number. We'll save that. Now if we go back to our SQL Server reporting site and drill down into the folder, we can see here's our new report right here. Let's open it up again. So we've successfully published it, and at this point now we can add subscriptions to that report. We can also schedule it to run on a regular basis. Now it's really easy to do, and you can see that it's easy to get a standard report, and you can go back to the designer, and you can modify it as you wish. So I hope that you'll try the SQL Server Reporting Services Report Builder. It's really an easy tool, and I it's a good way to get your feet wet with the tool and with SQL Server reporting services. Please try it out.